Hey everyone, welcome to episode number 15. This is Alvin Blocks. Uh, first of all, sorry for the lack of uploads recently, especially in this series. Uh, I am very sorry about that, although I have been working on my own Roblox game, which is coming soon, hence the lack of uploads. But also, some other projects for the channel which are taking up my time, so you should be able to see those soon. Today though, we're looking at while loops. So, lots of different while loops in Roblox scripting. Uh, this one, the while loop, is probably the easiest one to, that we're going to be looking at. So, let's begin. A while loop is a code block, code element, you could say. And what it will do is any code that you put inside of a while loop will repeat over and over again forever, basically. And you can see here, we've said while true do. And then we've got an end here. So in between these two red lines, this is our while loop, okay? So the while true do is the syntax that we need to tell the script that it's a while loop. And any code that goes in between these two lines will repeat forever. Now, I just need to tell you this before we go any further. Because a while loop will run forever continuously, what happens is it loops over and over again really quickly. And when it does this, it starts to lag your PC if you don't have a delay in between loops. So if we didn't have a delay here, like we have this wait, what would happen is it would constantly loop thousands and thousands and thousands of times on your computer and it executes super fast. So we won't even be able to see it happening because it will happen so fast that it will crash your script. So if I just show you here, if I run the game, you can see it's starting to lag a bit. You can see it's stuck here. Uh, and that's because it is just doing these while loops over and over again with no delays. And there we go. It's had to time out because the script has been overwhelmed with requests. So the first thing you need to know is that when you have a while loop, you have to have some kind of wait, some kind of delay. It doesn't have to be long. The default wait, if you don't put a number in there, is 0 0.03 seconds. So that's a decent wait time. But as long as you just have a wait in there, just so that the script can pause each time it loops. Because if you do a while loop, it's going to keep going. And if you don't have a wait, it's going to try and just do loads of, of uh, run lots of code at once. So that's not good. You have to have a delay. So what we saw there, if we just run it again, is that it just keeps on printing over and over again. Now you can see here, it's only printed it once in the output, but we've got this uh, X2 60 and it keeps going up every 0.03 seconds and that's just a way of not spamming your output and it's telling us that it is printing 500 times that's what it's gone up to now but it's just showing it once in the output because it's, it's printing the same message over and over again so you can see that the script is repeating the code so it's just gone to this line okay we're going to the wait line next it gets to the end uh, but we're in a while loop so it goes back to the start and then it goes back to the print then it waits and it goes back to the start and it prints and it waits and it goes back to the start. So that wait is waiting for 0 0.03 seconds. Now you can change this wait to whatever you want and the script's going to delay. So it's going to print. This is awesome. It's going to wait one second and it's going to print it again. Let's have a look. So it's printed. This is awesome. You see it's at times two. Now it's at times three. Now times four. Now times five. Times six. Times seven, etc. So it's, it's looping every one second because we've got this wait in there but we need a wait to prevent it from crashing the script now uh, a while true do loop will run no matter what so no matter what happens this while loop is going to run so if i have a wait five at the start of the script it's not going to do anything until after five seconds so three four five there we go so and now it started it's entered that while loop so what's happened is the script has started we're not in the while loop yet because we're on line two but after those five seconds we're entering the while loop so we're no longer going to if we, if we had some extra code down here we're no longer going to uh worry about that okay we're, we're not going to get to that because we're stuck in this while loop and this while loop is going to is going to move on to this line going to move on to this line and then it's going to repeat all over again. And we're going to just get stuck in this loop. And it's going to just keep going over and over and over again. And we're never going to get to the code that's down here. So, why do we use a while loop? Some people will ask. 
Um, so it's kind of helpful if you have like a game script where you have a game that repeats over and over again, for example. So you could have your intermission and then the actual game and then the end of round stuff where everyone gets teleported back to the lobby. And then it's going to repeat over again, right? The game is a new game is going to happen. So it's going to go back to the start. It's going to do the intermission. It's going to do the game. It's going to do the end of round stuff. Boom, new game. So it just is like a game loop. So you can put your all of your your go your your codes. Sorry, your game's code. If I can get get my words out, all of your game's code inside the while loop, and then it will just repeat it over and over again. And of course, you're going to have your weights in there for things like the intermission, things like the game loop. But that's getting more advanced. But you can see the idea of while loops. So it's looping over and over again. Now, for the while loop to repeat over and over again every time it loops it checks this true so this is basically the condition okay so the thing in the middle here is called condition now it can either be true or it can be false so when the condition is false the while loop is not going to run but when the condition is true the while loop will run so if you just want the while loop to run and repeat no matter what then you can just leave it as true and it's going to keep on looping no matter what but if you want the while loop to only run when a certain condition is met, just like an if statement, so we could have a variable. I could set that to false, but I could say while my var is equal to true, then I want the while loop to run. So what will happen is this: we will never enter this while loop because my var is never ever true. So if I was to do a print down here saying we've reached line 10 here if i was to do this and we run you can see it will say we have reached line 10 after five seconds because i put that weight at the start so what's happened is we've set my variable to false we've waited five seconds we've got to line five and we've said okay while my var is equal to true but my var is equal to false so this condition is false because it's not been met. My var is not equal to true. So this condition, this statement is false, just like an if statement. So an if statement will only run if the condition is true, just like a while loop will never run if the condition is false. So even though we have got a true here, actually this condition, my var isn't true. So the, the entire condition, that the condition's value is false. And we know when a while loop, the condition, the thing in the middle, the outcome is false, it's not going to run. But when it's true, it is going to run. So if we just try this again, set it to true, what should happen is after five seconds, we're going to enter this while loop. And this while loop is going to loop forever and ever and ever. It's going to just print, this is awesome, every one second. And we're never ever going to reach line 10. So let's check it out. So just wait five seconds. Three, four, five. There we go. So it prints, this is awesome, this is awesome, and it's never ever going to print that we've reached line 10. I could pause the video and come back in 24 hours, and we still would not have reached line 10. It will never ever reach line 10, because we're stuck in this while loop here. We're just stuck in it. And it's never ever going to move on to the rest of the code, because when it goes to the end, it just restarts. And that's the whole point of a while loop. It runs forever. Now, of course, you could change the condition. The condition could change whilst it's running. So every time you get to the end, it's going to check this condition again. So after the first um, pass on the while loop, I could set my var to false. And then what's going to happen is it's going to go to the end. It's going to restart. It's going to say, OK, is my var still true? And no, it's not because we just changed it to false. So it's going to it's going to basically stop the while loop and it's going to move on to the next piece of code. So the while loop will only stop when the condition changes. So again, let's just open the script again, but we've got a game running. So it says this is awesome once and then it says we've reached line 10 because it printed, it waited one second. We then set my var to false. So when it looped around again and we got back up to the top here, it said, OK, so is my var still equal to true? Because that's our condition and it's going to check it every time that the loop um, comes round again. So my var 
Okay, we set it to true up here, but we've since edited it. We've changed its value because that's a variable and variable means uh, to be able to change. The variable has been, has changed to false. So my var is no longer equal to true. So the while loop has stopped and it has moved on to the next piece of code. We've reached line 10. So in the other example, it never ever got to this line. It never printed we've reached line 10 because we never changed my var. So there we go. While loop, it will run forever as long as the condition is true. So in this case, the condition was always true, but in the previous case here, it was only true on the first go around because we changed my var. You may be wondering, well, what's the point in the condition? I'll give you some examples. You can check the number of players in your game. So you could do while you don't need to know this, but um, game.players get players. And if you just put a hashtag here, this condition, what it will do is it will give us a number of players in the game. So it could be three players. So if I say it while the number of players is greater, or let's even say less than two, we could print not enough players in the game. And we'll just remove this here because we don't need it anymore. And we can print here enough players reached. Let's carry on. So here, what I've done is I've created a while loop that's not going to carry on. It's not going to continue running the rest of the script until we have enough players in the game. So what it's doing is it's checking, okay, is the number of players in the game less than two? Mm, yes, it is. So we're going to print not enough players in the game. We're going to wait one second. And we're going to say, okay, uh, we'll check again. And if the number of players does rise to two or two or more, let's say, uh, we will break out of this while loop and we will carry on with the script. So if we had some more code down here, maybe to teleport players or whatever, that code would only run when enough players are in the game. So there you go, nice practical example of, of how a, a while loop will work. And we can actually test that right now. Um, if we head into play solo, you can see that it says not enough players in the game because there's only one person in the game. But if somebody else joined, then it would stop that while loop because there would then be two players in the game. So there we go. Nice little brief introduction into while loops. Uh, I hope that was useful. So if you enjoyed it, uh, please do smash the like button on the video. It lets me know that you're enjoying it and you want more. And don't forget to share it with a friend who may want to learn about this, get some more knowledge on while loops. So they're really important. And that's all you need to know right now about while loops. So thanks for watching. Again, sorry about the lack of videos recently, but I do appreciate the support. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.